Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're brand new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And today we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Son Goku Ultra Instinct Sign Event Exclusive Edition. And I believe this is San Diego Comic Con. Um, do let me know in the comments because I'm really out of it. Um, given that I don't live in the States right now and I'm super out of it because of the bubble. And yeah, um, I think this is going a little bit overboard for being an event exclusive because... Um, Usually they have like a color variant, but this is like a whole new figure in my opinion. But I think um, this guy is fairly easy to get. Like the aftermarket price is only about like 20 to 30 percent markup, so it's not that bad. Maybe they do have enough in stock, I don't know. But at least in Asia, um, it's fairly easy to find. The only one that's like going crazy is Android 18. Um, I'm not sure how it's gonna be in the states, but yeah, Android 18 is really, really crazy right now for aftermarket price. I might just have to get in the states or something. But anyways, um, here's the left box. Here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. This is definitely a must-have if you're a big Goku fan. And yeah, um, let's check it out. Figure still in the inner packaging, looking plain and simple. Um, that's Son Goku, all right. And let's check it out. All right, so here we have the figure itself, and as expected from SH Figure Arts, the figure looks great, feels great, um, very durable, and let's just take a closer look at the figure. And this is a very popular look from Goku. Um, I like the metallic blue or like whatever this is over here. Um, it's always very nice to see something metallic as a collector. And we do have some battle damage here and there, but these are not painted. I'm sure you can find like a customizer to do it, or you can just do it yourself. Um, yeah, looks really good. I don't think I have anything bad to say about a figure. Um, this look has been really popular. Like, we've seen so many customizers trying to do this over the years. And we finally see a take from Bandai, and I think it looks really good. Um, of course, like, you can always argue it looks really plain. They definitely could use a little more paint, but yeah, oh well, it is Bandai. They're here to make money, and let's check out the articulation. And for the articulation, it is your standard SH Figure Arts, and let's just quickly go over it from the neck down, take a look up about this much, look down about this much, you can tilt the head side to side, no problem. And the shoulder, I believe we have a butterfly here um, for you to use the Kamehameha, so yeah, it's there. Um, just a ball joint here, raises arm up about this much, um, this is just a ball here as usual. And you have bicep swivel, can curl about this much, which is quite a lot, and you do get the ball wrist. And for the out crunch, um, you can't really bend forward too much for this guy, which is kind of disappointing, but you can bend backwards about this much, which is pretty good. And for the leg, of course, the 2.0 hip, and you can move the belt over here, bend about this much, thigh swivel, side to side pivot, and toe hinge. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, it's your standard SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball articulation, and let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default face, and I think they nailed it here. It looks really, really good in my opinion. And next up, we have a teeth greeting face, and it looks really good as well. And then, of course, we get a shouting face. This is also very standard for Goku figures. And the last one we got is a little bit more interesting. Um, this is a close eyes focusing expression, and this is probably my favorite out of the four. And for the interchangeable hands, it's really standard for Goku, so I'm not going to waste your time. Um, and let's just check out the action poses. And for the size comparison, let us start with some SH Figure Arts Mode figures, and I think they look great together. Um, Goku's Goku. And then we have some of my favorite Mayfax figures, and I think they scale pretty well together too. And then just another quick shot with some more Goku bodies. Um, this one is Demonical Fit though, on the Gohan. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. 
All right, so for the final thoughts, I think this one's definitely a must-have. Beautiful paintwork, amazing sculpt, and this is a really popular look for Goku. Um, everybody wanted this look for a very long time. The battle damage with Blue Short, very, very cool. And yeah, um, I think that's it from me. Do let me know in the comments on what you think. And consider this is an event exclusive. Um, the price is actually not that bad for aftermarket, and I'm comparing to like the previous years. Um, the only San Diego Comic Con I've been to is the um the one where they sold the Frieza Saga Goku. Um, very nice experience. Brings back a lot of memories. And yeah, um, I hope everyone is doing great. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay clean. And this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.